As we've covered through our study of the book of Job, our main character has experienced massive calamity through the loss of his children, his property, his health, and his reputation we've shared in his lament. And over the past couple of weeks, we've seen his friends really breaking him down. And as we'll cover this week, his friends bring some very serious and wild accusations against Job. And as we've worked through this difficult book, we've encountered and discussed some really tough questions. Questions like, why do bad things happen to good people? And when they do, what's the point of being good? And is God consistent? Really? One of the questions that we'll ponder today is how does God see humanity? You know, we live in a world that in many ways is more connected than ever. And we've got information quite literally at our fingertips in the form of a smartphone. And with that perspective, sometimes it's easy to realize just how insignificant our individual existence might seem and how disconnected we might feel or be from God. Depending on the size of the place where you work, you may have found that if you consistently show up and deliver as expected, it's very easy to recede into the background. Sure, the people that you encounter on a daily basis will see you, acknowledge you, and have a real connection with you. But maybe to those C-suite executives that you see maybe once or twice a year, you're just a piece of human capital, an asset or a liability a cog in the machine, a role that can be eliminated in an instant. Unfortunately, we've developed some really callous ways to articulate that fact. Sayings like, you're just another cog in the machine, easily replaceable, or, you know this place was fine before you got here and it's gonna be just fine when you're gone. Sometimes it can feel like God is just as disconnected as the executive in that illustration. That the only time he shows up in a real and tangible way in our lives is when we deserve some sort of punishment. Or worse yet, that he allows or even introduces calamity into our life and the second we start going through adversity, he's gone. Have you ever had those feelings? Have you ever thought that you felt so far from God? These are the types of questions that we're gonna to discuss today. And with that, I'll hand it over to your life group leader. I hope you enjoy today's session.